in scene four of A Streetcar Named Desire. The next morning, Stella lies contently in bed. But Blanche appears nervous as she stares at her sister, unable to comprehend why Stella returned to Stanley the previous night and wants her sister to explain herself. Stella doesn't think there's anything to explain. She thinks her behavior was understandable. She's sorry Blanche saw Stanley act that way though. Appalled that Stella had sex with her husband after he hit her, Blanche declares Stanley is a madman and tells her sister that they have to get out of there. But Stella doesn't want to leave, saying married couples often have to tolerate each other's bad habits. Blanche frantically makes plans to contact a millionaire she knows named Shep Huntley to ask him for money so she and Stella can go into business together. She starts to write a telegram to Shep, but then gives up the half-baked idea. But still, Blanche feels she cannot remain under the same roof with Stanley. Stella tells Blanche to give things time to settle down, but Blanche insists they have to leave. An unmoved Stella refuses to leave Stanley. Blanche gives Stella her honest opinion about Stanley, calling him an animal and describing him as being subhuman, something not quite to the stage of humanity yet. Blanche encourages Stella to set her sights on noble human ideals like music or poetry. But just then, Stanley enters the apartment and overhears Blanche. Blanche and Stella have no idea Stanley is in the next room. After hearing Blanche's speech, Stanley quietly goes outside and then pretends that he has just come in. Stella gives mm. Stanley an affectionate embrace. As she does, Stanley smiles at Blanche as if he never heard a thing, but knows full well that Stella's embrace means she hasn't been influenced by Blanche's opinion of him. Stella's desire for sexual intimacy has been fulfilled by Stanley, and she seems content with this. She's become enmeshed in Stanley's cycle of violence and sex. Stella glosses over this because Stanley satisfies her sexually. However, the play also emphasizes Stella's financial dependence on Stanley. Stella has fallen into a passive role, which could be seen as a trap, even though she doesn't view it as such. Blanche sees Stanley as being the opposite of the upper-class <clears throat> refined gentleman and tells Stella that her husband is subhuman and ape-like. Stella accuses Blanche of viewing herself as superior to Stanley. Herein lies Blanche's self-deception. She believes Stella has regressed to being content having her sexual desires fulfilled, likening Stella's desire to the streetcar named Desire, which she calls a rattle-trap streetcar that bangs through the quarter, up one old narrow street and down another. Yet Blanche herself took this streetcar to get to the Kowalski apartment. So if the streetcar is a metaphor for brutal desire, it's the same type of desire that has brought Blanche to her current situation.